what's up everybody welcome back to another video right now we are heading to the hunter 350 launch right here actually we are really close by right after the signal if i'm not wrong actually no another signal okay Alright, so finally I've got the bike for myself. This is the base variant. Uh, you get drum brakes with this one. It's a very compact bike by the way. And this is again the the same engine that you get with the Meteor and the classic. The J platform engine, which is really nice. I've ridden both of them and both of them fantastic. Foot pegs are kind of sporty. Uh, it's a kind of rare set than the normal bikes in the meter was all the way in the front Which I didn't really like and it wasn't really comfortable for me to ride that one this one. This is really nice This is how the the back looks This is kind of similar to the Himalayan's indicators But this is only in the the base variant and also you can get the tail tidy done It's an additional accessory from Royal Enfield coming to the instrument cluster this is how it looks. It's just exactly similar to uh, the Scram 411. This doesn't come with the triple navigation. Although triple navigation is a additional accessories, no matter what variant you're going for, you can get it for the base variant as well. And coming over to the tire, you get 180 17 by the way so tires are kind of small and also it's 17 inch in the front and it's 17 in the back as well and in the back you get 120 80 17 so both of them are 17 inches which is really nice i wish it had spoke wheels and also disc brake both front and back that would be killer again himalayan like indicators in the front from the front it actually looks similar to a lot of bikes interceptor cb350 triumph scrambler street twin and the the scram 411 so all of these look similar i feel like it's an offspring of all of these you know <laughs> i really don't i'm not really shipping the balloon right now <laughs> and you get a visor as an additional accessory if i'm not wrong that's over there and that exactly looks like an interceptor right there that bike from the front looks like an interceptor no joke <laughs> so that's how it is but this bike is really small like it's really small it's really compact and the seat height is about 800 mm another interesting fact is that you get normal switches in this you see you don't get the the round the circle thing whatever is there so you don't get that over here it's just for the the base model that is the retro okay i'll just uh, sit on the bike right now I'm 5 feet 7 and I can completely plant my foot. It's kind of nice. I think it's made for me because for me, being a 5 feet 7 incher, I think this is really nice. And I don't really have an issue with the handlebar as well. Maybe I would like to get it a bit raised. Feels amazing. I believe this will be easy to, you know, take around the city, go for a city ride. We can flick it around in the traffic. That would be lovely. Nevertheless, this bike is perfect. Over to the exhaust note. Let's just start it out. So this is kind of uh, different compared to the Meteor as well as the class. This is kind of different. This has got the old thump from Royal Enfield. So that's kind of nice. I really like the exhaust note of this. Yep, overall, it's lovely. I can't wait to test ride it. Until 10th of August, they don't give test rides. And also the tank has some kind of a carving over here. Something that you see in the Interceptor, I believe. Two Interceptors have these carvings. Or some other bike from the list I've said before has this kind of design, I'm pretty sure.
so that's how the exhaust sounds the base variant does not get the bash plate i suppose because i don't see that in this and i see that in every other bike so i believe that's an additional accessory which is kind of dumb yeah <laughs> but yeah i think i like it more than the classic and the meteor and if there's anything else that i can say that would be after uh, the test ride because it totally depends upon the riding as well isn't it i swear man this looks exactly like the interceptor 650 with the thing on because this is an additional accessory for the interceptor 650 as you guys can see this gets a, a disc brake in the back this must be the metro i'm sure look at that that's a, a black and a gray kind of combination over there this is a blue and a white and this is matte finish It's not gloss. That's a gloss. That's matte, and that's a whole grey right there. Cool. Let's wait for the test ride. I'll see you guys in the next one. You guys know the drill. Like the video, share the video, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye bye.